people, welcome back to Loaded Landscapes. My name's Simon Plant, and today we're going to be looking at changing the luminosity values within your images. So you're probably already aware if you've been using Photoshop or Lightroom for a little while that there's always more than one way uh, with techniques. For instance, um, if you want to change the exposure and contrast of the scene, you've got curves and you've got levels, and there's also different blending modes. If you want to change certain color in your scene, there's different ways of doing that. So there's always uh, someone's got a preferable method. Um, this technique today, I don't think I've ever used in Photoshop, uh, and I only came aware of it just recently. Recently, uh, but I thought actually it's one of those techniques which is far better uh, than the technique I was originally using if that makes sense so rather than me babble on let me just show you what I'm talking about so we've got this little wooded scene here which is all very well and good um, um, but some of the colors are a little bit close together we've got yellows and greens which kind of tend to merge a little bit I, th I believe in this picture and sometimes you want to be able to maybe boost the colors a little bit but also kind of separate them and this is where this technique comes into its own we can actually go in and change the luminosity values of uh, the, the certain colors within the scene now you, you can do a similar thing in Lightroom using the HSL sliders hue saturation luminosity um, and uh, it's a similar effect in there um, but we're going to be working in Photoshop today um, another I'm going to digress a little bit and apologize another technique for, that is great for this but it's a little bit more advanced um, is, a, is a technique called lab color LAB which is a color mode um, all on its own um, not often used I don't think um, certainly uh, uh, unless it's really advanced techniques um, there is books on lab and uh, by all means go and explore those I've got a couple of books but they are very technical um, but uh, lab color can do exactly what we're trying to do today which is uh, take the colors uh, and actually in increase the saturation almost to Disneyland type proportions which uh, is no good if you can't re reproduce them but um, it will help separate the colors as well so it adds a little bit more separation between very close uh, color combinations so have a look at LAB color but this technique um, is a lot easier thankfully so what we're going to do we're going to get down to our adjustment layers and we want to start off by adding a black and white adjustment layer like so we then want to change the blend mode of this down to luminosity so we get our color information back again so we're going to double click on our adjustment layer uh, this brings up our adjustments here which we can control I'm just trying to move that out of the way a little bit we can control the reds and yellows and greens etc within the image sometimes they're a little bit difficult to uh, to identify what colors are what uh, and this is where this little scrubby slider comes in handy you can click on that you get an eyedropper and you can literally drag it over certain parts of the image and that will either darken like so or lighten okay so that can come in a bit handy uh, I'm just going to do this manually for now. So we're going to have a lot of greens uh, in this image and a lot of yellows. So I'm going to start off by maybe lightening some of the greens a little bit or darkening them. Let's darken them. Add a little bit more saturation there. And you can see, if you look at this branch up here, and let me just zoom in a little bit if I can. So by moving the greens across, that's adding a little bit more saturation, it's darkening the greens and obviously enhancing the saturation. With the yellows, we can drag the yellows up and that's going to again just push the yellows over to one side a little bit more and adding a little more colour, contrast and separation between those luminosity values. Sometimes you've got to see into the little bit more color variation in. Obviously these other sliders will come into their own. Um, the blue here, um, if I drag this down, there's obviously blue in the sky, not a huge amount of detail in there. But if you look at these branches, I'll just zoom in, uh, as I drop the blue down, you'll see a little bit more detail in the branches come out. So we can drop that down. But I think that's probably as much as we can do on this particular image. Um, zoom out a minute. There we go. So there's before there's after so we've uh, obviously gone in and we've just uh, manipulated those color uh, luminosity values and that's obviously ex uh, affected the color saturation in the image now of course if for instance I actually quite like the faded out 
slightly more faded out look in the background of the original image there's no reason why I can't select my mask here and get a paintbrush tool with black in the foreground uh, I've got my flow down to six percent and I can sort of gradually just paint this out now you might be wondering well why the well why would you want to be in this war then uh, why would you want to be doing that well the thing is if it's faded out it's adding a little bit more depth to the image okay so we've got some darker more saturated color here darker tones and in a distance it's a little bit more faded so before after let me just turn the mask off before after so it's just kind of uh it's lightening that area fading it out which add a bit more depth and and also of course because it's lighter your eye naturally goes towards it that little bit more and so we can control the viewers um how they view the scene um we want them to look down the uh, the alleyway of trees here and that will help uh, again help us do that okay so just a little side technique there so there we go that's the end of the video um go and have a play and explore this technique maybe with a variation of images with different color values in and see how uh, you can use these uh, techniques to uh, enhance the images that bit further until the next time thanks for watching